Here at the Star Center, we work with actors. We work with high fidelity robotic simulators, mannequins. I mean, how cool is that, right? We really need unique skill sets to work here. Our senior administrative assistant, I think she's really the person who runs the place. So people describe me as a Jill of all trades, and yes, I do a lot of stuff. I've learned how to run the mannequins. Noelle is our OB mannequin. She'll give birth about 30 times in two and a half, three hours. I really enjoy listening to all the doctors and the residents come in because their focus is to get these students to shine when they're on their rotations. When they come in, our actors are very well trained. Our Deborah Amos sees to that. My primary uh, responsibilities are to train the standardized patients. I put in everything, the door notes, all the checklists, and all those type of things that we use for the actual exams. And, uh, and then I actually run the scenarios when the students are here. I enjoy the training aspect, uh, specifically because I've seen a tremendous amount of growth. I really enjoy that aspect of my job because I believe it provides much value. So the people who come to this job um, have technical ability, they have communication skills. Our um, simulation engineer, for example, has a very eclectic technical background. He's a jack of all trades. I used to be a biomedical engineer, so I had to do a bunch of study and get a bunch of medical background for that. Part of this is really creating a tiny little play. I've got a background in acting. The situations that we do, obviously the people are plastic and the places are not exactly operating rooms, but by putting enough subtle cues in there, we promote the suspension of disbelief where hopefully somebody in that environment will really feel that this is a real situation. And that's something where the background in acting is really helpful to know when you've reached that point. We have as regular users, for example, Flight for Life. Milwaukee County EMS comes in. We've done some interprofessional education things too with Freighters. Our main mission is to our medical students. We can see them progressing throughout their four years of medical school, becoming more and more adept in their ability to communicate. And they appreciate that. Yep. Okay, good. This place is so dynamic. I mean, the innovations that we're doing today weren't even dreamed up three months ago. And a lot of that is a creativity that the faculty help play off with us. So the fact that we're living and growing and breathing and making this educational opportunity even more vital for our students um, is, is very energizing.